The page that we're going to look at today is for Bottle Bill Photography. It's a portfolio website and I think they do a lot of things really, really well and I wanted to share some of those techniques with you. First of all, let's take a look at the overall artwork here. Now you'll notice that I'm on the gallery page, not the home page. That's because we're going to leave most of our focus here. There's a lot of um, a lot of soundtrack on this particular um, on this particular site, so I don't want to bog down what you hear with you. You know, I don't want to get all muddied with all that soundtrack stuff. So this page is quiet. So that's why I chose this guy. So let's look at the artwork. Starting at the top of the page, I can see that there is a background, but it's it's a pretty subtle re repetitive background. And that helps keep the focus right in the center where all of the artwork is. So if you're going to if you're going to use some kind of repetitive background, take a cue from that. Keep it subtle. Keep the main focus on the center of your page. Also notice that there's a small gradient going from the top to the bottom of the screen. Now, I also thought it was kind of cool on the sides, on both sides here. You notice this light line? Contrast helps to draw the, the viewer's eye. When something is light, it brings more attention to itself. When something is dark, it takes attention away. So by having these lines on either side, it helps, again, frame the focus of where you want the viewer to look. And that's right here, right at this level. So if you'll notice, if I were to draw that, draw the rule of third grids, right about through here is where one of the grids would be, with the lower two-thirds being down here and the upper one-third being up here. Excuse me, I clicked on the wrong thing. I better get out of that. So I just wanted to let you know about that. Notice here in the center the four big blocks of photos. These will each take you into a separate gallery. I also wanted to point out how the the how, the images that she chose. The brightest image is of this woman. The second brightest is of the landscapes, and then you have two very muted images on either side. This is deliberate. Again, she's trying to draw your eye into the middle of the gallery with you know, by using contrast. So those are some things I wanted to point out about this particular thing. There's one more huge thing that I need to talk to you about, and that, th that is the fact that this is a Flash website. Those of you that are not familiar with Flash, I, I wanted to let you know that Flash is a program that is made by Adobe that has been used for many years now to create interactive websites. Flash is... Um, is going to be eventually replaced by strictly HTML5 websites. It's not quite there yet, so you'll still find lots of Flash websites that are out there. But once HTML5 becomes a little bit more, uh, more of an um, everyday commodity, I think that you'll start to see this go away. But I did want to point out one of the advantages of Flash, especially when you need to protect your copyrighted materials. You can't grab an image from a Flash website. So it makes it the automatic perfect choice for any kind of photographer. So all that talk that we did last week about security, this one really brings it home. So, I wanted to make sure that you guys knew about this. I would like to encourage you to go ahead and explore the other pages of this website because the photography is really, really nice. Notice how she did marry the art of photography with this particular website of hers. So, I hope you enjoyed taking a look at Bottle Bell Gallery. I hope to see you guys in the next video.